Hey folks, welcome back to Endless Ocean, Blue World. How you doing? So, last time we dove in the Antarctic. We almost died in Antarctica. We did die, almost die. We met a new friend, though. And we kind of pissed off Grandpa. Don't call him Grandpa. Well, the old man. Mr. Louvier. Mr. Louvier. He's kind of, he's kind of having a bit of a fuss. I don't want to go back to Japan. I like it here. It's nice. I can look at things. <laughs> she just wants an excuse just to stay on the beach. Yes. I could go back to the office, you know, in the labs. Or I can hang out here. She wasn't even asking. She just said, I'm staying here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Great. Nadine, Nadine will be the, the old man speaker. Send the grad student. Oh, by the way, we can do this. Yeah, the, you weren't even there, Oceana. <laughs> well, you have the wax now, so you can dive regularly. Well, yeah, well, the thing is, she never went into this chamber, yet she can give tours there? Yes. Has she been there? Historical. I'm sure Nadine told her all about that. Call Nancy up quick. Always call Nancy. New swimsuits. Eh, we're good. We just changed our swimsuit. But we got new equipment now. You That's changed the important your wetsuit. Swimsuit is different. That's true. See? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. They look like shit, those two. Yeah. But on the better side, we can get stuff like new regulators. Yes! Which are going to be very useful, actually. Because our dive times has become a massive now. Yes. Sadly, no bag. Why are you not buying the air tank first? I wanted to get the thing first. We have money enough for everything. <sighs> oh, should we get the light ink? <laughs> At some point. Oh, totem pole. Yes, I will yeah, I buy think I'm Tiki gonna... Idol. Yeah, sure. Hello, Tiki Idol. <laughs> we're, we're, we're spiritual, not religious. It's still nothing in other. Look, Oceana, we bought you a friend. <laughs> still not 100% on what exactly other does. You'll see. They're key items for quests. I see. I see. So it's like stuff I didn't pick up or something. Yeah, they're, they're mostly going to be for dolphin related things. Ah. Uh, oh, oh, it's you. you. That song is cursed. Your, your fears were confirmed by the blizzard? You're just a superstitious sea captain. Oh, you're here. We, we were standing behind you all along. Yes, you were yelling it! Professor Sakurai is like, and I'll be there! For science, and beaches, and hanging out. 
Whatever, I was just doing paperwork. In Japan. Well... I don't know if we quite made forward movement there, but that was a conversation. Can't really do anything. He's the only one knows how to operate a boat. <laughs> hmm. Got anything else? Aww. He's still. Mm, aww. He's kind of grumping still. What does Snork think about all this? I think so too. By the way, here's a lot of money. Sorry, <laughs> uh. I'm gonna say it. you could be a magnificent upperclassman. <laughs> Ah, uh, too anime. <sighs> Magnificent senpai. Ah. <laughs> uh, I could rest in a hammock. Yeah. Could actually, well, you know, you know, we've never actually used our telescope. Okay. We'll look at things. Ugh, things have gotten closer! Ooh, it looks like the moon is waning. Moon phases are actually pretty important for certain things. Certain requ certain quests require the moon to be in a certain phase. It's also good it can be for kind navigation. of annoying. Various other sea life react to full moons, new moons. It's pretty neat, actually. Well, nothing else we can really do. Let's go take go a nap. Go to sleep. Can't tell if it's late or early or what. That's pretty. Oh, it's morning. Is everybody still grumping? I'm wearing the same clothes. Wish I brought more than this. <laughs> oh, God. Yes! It's all his racket. People come here all the time for things. <laughs> I love GG. Oh, Guilty Gear's back. How does this island even sustain itself? I do enjoy that he has the dolphin training music. Yeah. I just want to know where the gold is. I like you. He is just so sure of cool shit. I like to also believe that he salvaged literally everything he wears. I think that's implied, actually. Like the shirt. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> Found that on a dead pirate's corpse. Yep. A hot tip. Dangerous. Some sort of super diver. Maybe the most awesomest diver ever. Hmm. <laughs> Oceana, best negotiator ever. Why do we let her do this again? 
Because she's the best at it. The rest of us don't really care that much. Yeah, good luck finding shit. Check it out, we got our own Japanese lady. She knows things. <laughs> like I was like, yeah, shut up, GG. Now back to business. Whatever. I was like, fine, as long as we get money. What Done. A twist. Oh, it's good for you to remember this now. I think not. <laughs> I like GG. I, love... I like GG. <laughs> Less salty. It's pretty nice. Yay! So, GG is now a member of the LNL Diving Service. He's a cool dude. We'll talk about what he does later. What he does is stand here. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I'm a midnight asteroid. And a Twilight Comet. Uh, <laughs> I really like GG. Uh, he is a fun guy. God, the characters in this game are like cool. Like somebody. Aw, John Eric, you need a you need to lighten up. How about if we do a photo request? I know, yeah. Will that make you feel better? Make you some money for your photo requests? Oh my! Can't wait. So what's this request? A manta ray. Diving magazine! That's the famous publication, Diving Magazine. I think we actually have a picture of a manta ray laying around somewhere. It's entirely possible. So I'm gonna go check in my it's photo probably things. not a good picture of a manta ray, but... Well, I don't know. Let's, let's go take a look. It's actually pretty hard to take good pictures of things for these requests. Like, the best thing you can do is go for zoom spot animals. Because you can zoom in and manipulate the camera around them. Mm -hmm. It's easier just to get them fully in frame. You see, that, that isn't bad looking. You can't see its face. It's direct, right, it's spot. center, I'll give you that. But. Looks neat. A little bit of a fish in the way, but you know. What was that, a sturgeon? Could be. Do we have any photos to develop? Hey, I have some better ones in here. Let's see. Not a great whale shark, but the whale shark. You never know. See better whale sharks. Hey, you leave the mayor alone. Good picture of Kaong. That's Kakao Maharaja. Yes, Kakao Maharaja. Kaong is the whale shark. Yes, you're right. Ugh. Yeah, photo requests will never ask for pictures of legendary creatures, so. So it's, they're kind of useless except for looking at. That's a nice picture, though. Well, well picture, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't really need this sea lion. 
That's a pretty good picture of a leopard seal. Yes. I mean, you can't see its face, but... You can kind of see it. The way they face. judge things in this game is weird because it, it follows specific criteria that don't make sense to, oh, it looks neat. Hmm. They want specifically photos of faces it's, or whatever. It's, oh, I need to see this thing's eyes. It's like, oh. I well, can that, that is kind of the criteria. <laughs> I mean, that's an amazing picture, Red. Yay, I'm a blue whale. <laughs> uh, well, let's go submit this one manta ray picture. And see what it does. If once, okay. <laughs> Had to get the right aspect angle. Photo requests. Usually there's limits, but since it's the first one, you can have, you know, it's a long one yet. Mm-hmm. It's a pain in the ass, because if it's like a three-day limit, and you've got to go to, like, the Arctic to get the picture, it's pretty much useless to do, because you won't get back in time. Yeah. Because it does take time, actually, to get places and back. Yep. Unless, if you do a dive request with Oceana, it's instant travel to wherever you're going, it's the best way to cheese the system. Oh, that's true. Jump flip. Hmm. I could go with him. You will train Mandelbrot. Yeah, let's try train Mandelbrot first. It's best We're nearly get, there. It's best to get one of your dolphins to level up first, and then it makes the others easier to do. Mm hmm. And we are nearly at the next major step with Mandelbrot. Spin flip! A little bit more. Come on. So, see any interesting fish lately, Red? I uh, saw some stonefish yesterday. Neat. Let's... They're, they're difficult to spot. I am I, I misremembering that those are. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Tail walk! Do it. It's better be good, man, LeBron. Dolphins. Wow. Tail walking. It's hard to be sad while watching a dolphin go around. It is. And now, he can free train. Yay! Which means we can basically kind of just set him up to do shit and he'll... You still have to like kind of be there. You can't just walk away because eventually he will get pissed off at you for making him free train forever. But yeah, but you don't have to input commands for everything. So it's a lot. It's easier. So let's get that get going. Reinforcement and let's kick him off. Which means we're gonna have to take this to a speed further beyond. So, stonefish, they're, they're poisonous, if I remember correctly. Correct? Yeah, except Or venomous. Funny thing, story I always had with stonefish is that, um... I used to, when I was much younger, there was, like, these tours that one of the local aquariums here would do in the, uh... Bays. Not, not where I am here, but where I was living yes, over yes, in Florida. Right. And, uh... They, they, we, they used to do these, like, trawl nets or whatever as part of it, where they would like, have a little bit of net behind, and they'd pull right, out right, just whatever right. fish they catch in the bay, and they'd just put, like, in a, like uh, they actually had, like, a little aquarium on the ship that they had, and they'd just show off all the fish there. And I remember uh, me being, like, like 12 years old or something. They put, like, a stonefish there, and they were, like, just touching it with their hands, and I'm like, y you know that's, that's venomous, right? And then the local marine biologist they had in the boat's like, oh, no, it's not. Well, who are you to talk is. that shit about from Rainbow all of this, huh? The thing is, I was right. I was right as hell. Let's see, let's see. Uh, well, oh, Red. Look at that shit! What is his favorite trick, Zorak? Spin jump. Is that, yeah, what did I say his favorite trick was? Not singing. And what did, what did, what, yeah, just vindication. Fucking vindication! Yeah, 
You will give me that. Yep. I'll give you that. Chopin is restless, so let's let's, let's get him start a little bit. Chopin. We should be focusing more on Mandelbrot, but I want to show off him. Chopin. Chopin. I'll show I'll show you a pan. Look, I was raised being told it was Chopin. I was I was not raised to pronounce it any specific way. So. You uncultured fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, you, you need work, Chopin. So do these guys just live around your island now? I presume. I, I think we kind of like, they fly them with, like they go in our baggage or something when we fly it to places. Why not? I've seen dumber. Yes, I'd like to check, bring in this carry-on bag. Like, sir, you, you do realize that is a dolphin. Uh, actually, it's a porpoise. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna have to check with my manager here. <laughs> okay, sir. We, we did not see any policies on porpoises versus dolphins. Also, when you unlock free training, it works for all of them. Yep. So, you know, you can use it for everything, so it's a nice little speed up right there, outright. Though there is another way to speed up things even more once we go a level beyond. Usually you don't even need that. Okay. So, seeing as how we have that photo request we sent in, let's try, let's try, it's, it's going till tomorrow and seeing if they get back to us. Okay. Rest until sunrise. Let's, let's check our mail tomorrow. A lot of not diving in this game right now. Well, we gotta get through this stuff sometimes. Lamprey are an order of jawless fish. They physically resemble eels and they have no scales and are very long. However, they also have no paired fins. Their most notable feature, however, is their huge, jawless, suction cup like mouth full of horrific teeth. Most lamprey are well known for the parasitism of other fish, latching onto them and sucking blood with the aforementioned Ring of Terror. The bites of sea lamprey in particular can often be found on fish caught. Sea lamprey are found all throughout the North Atlantic, both the North American coast to Europe, into the Mediterranean Sea and the freshwater inlets that border all of these. They're an invasive pest within the Great Lakes, having found their way there with the opening of the Erie Canal in 1825. Oops. Which brings us to this. Lamprey are found all over the place, even in completely landlocked lakes. They're found in temperate regions of the world, with the exception of those in Africa. If you live in London, these things have been sighted very recently within the Thames. Lamprey are fond of rivers, you see. They breed in them, sometimes after turning from life in the ocean. Which brings us to this. Lamprey have a bizarre life cycle. The larval stage of the lamprey spends years in the river, burrowed into sediment, living as a filter feeder. Over a period of several months, they slowly metamorphize into the adults you know and love. As adults, this is the time when they start their I'm going to latch onto fish and just sort of chew on them with this terror mouth of mine thing that they do. Unless, you know, they don't. Several species of lamprey don't feed at all when they're in their adult stage, much like several species of insects. Lamprey are a strange beast, taxonomically speaking. They're technically vertebrates, but they're so unlike their bony fish cousins it seems a sort of sister tax to every vertebrate with a jaw. The term fish is really a rather broad term, because a lot of the fish you see are related as close as a frog is to a bird. See, while vertebrates are classed, you have amphibia, reptilia, aves, and amalia, which are very obviously amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. It's very easy to differentiate them. What we call fish are actually three different classes. Osteoichthys, the bony fish, chondrichthys, the cartilaginous fish, and agnathostomata, the lamprey and hagfish. Taxonomy is a weird, complicated thing. As Zorik has stated before, taxonomy is basically the let's play of the natural world. I was offshore the other day from the beach, probably half a nautical mile. So calm, mm -hmm. you can actually look straight down and see straight at the bottom. Oh, I love when it's like that. 
I found a bar somebody had sank to make a reef. <laughs> like yeah, really? a bar, like what you're thinking. Like, like a bar bar? Yes. Huh. A bunch of tarpon around, it was great. Tarpon. Give me submission. Oh yeah. We did good. You didn't do great though. Yay. So that's it for this update, guys. See you next time when we finally go save those seals. Finally.